Right, in this question we're asked to draw a graph a, uh, a, of y equals x squared minus 2x minus 3. Now, because the highest power of x is uh, squared, okay, this is called a quadratic, so keep an eye out for that word. All right, it might come up, you might have heard your teacher say it or what have you. We're given a, um, we're given a table which, which they filled in a couple of uh, numbers for us nicely, and we're given a grid on which to draw it. So, Let's start shoving some numbers into this and getting some y coordinates, okay. So the easiest one's probably zero. So zero squared is zero, take away two lots of zero is zero, take away three, fantastic. There we go, take uh, negative three is the answer there. Now, I've already done one for us because that's the next easiest. Two, let's have a look at two. So two squared is four, take away two lots of two, well that's four as well, so four take away four is zero, take away three, Ah, now, am I spotting a bit of a pattern here? I've got five and five there from what they gave me, and I've worked out that both of those two are negative three. So whatever's here, I reckon might go there. We'll check it just in case. So three squared, nine. Take away two lots of three. So nine take away six is three. Take away three, zero. So I'm sort of expecting this to be zero, but I'm just going to check it just in case. I don't want to make any silly mistakes. So negative one, don't forget when you... Uh, square a negative number, you get a positive answer. So negative one squared is one. Take away two lots of negative one. Well, that becomes plus two. So one plus two is three. Take away three, fantastic. And that was what I was expecting. So I know I'm right. Now, let's plot these points. We've got negative two, five. Remember to do it with a cross. Oh, I was just out there slightly. Um, and we've got negative one, zero and we've got zero negative three, which is about there we go, and we've got one negative four, which is there, and we've got uh, two negative three, which is there, and we've got three zero there, and four five, if my memory serves me correctly, there we go. Now, hopefully you've noticed these aren't all in a straight line like we've seen before. They're a quadratic, and the quadratics have a certain shape. Now don't use your ruler on this one, okay, because they're gonna make a curve, and if you use your ruler, you could well lose marks in the exam, okay? It is a freehand sort of curve. It looks like a chin, apparently, according to one of my students from a couple of years ago, okay? But there you go. It's always this sort of shape that they um, that quadratics come out in. So there we go. We know we've gone right, and we should be able to recognize those in the future. Now it says plot the graph, just done that, fantastic. Hence solve, all right, um, x squared minus 2x minus 3 equals 2. Now that, that bit rings a bell, and what you should notice here is that this here and this here, and actually the one underneath as well, are the same. So actually what I, all I really need to look at is this bit here. So I'm actually going to plot the graph of y equals 2. All right, now the graph of y equals two is nice and easy. It's just a horizontal line going through two. So here we go, horizontal line going through two. Bosh, done, all right. And I'm gonna read off what my x values are. I already know there y is two, and I'm gonna read down here. I could sometimes do a dotty line. There we go, and there we go. Go, done, all right, and what have we got? Well, we've got negative, all right, what's that, about one point, uh, one, it's just under halfway, isn't it? We'll say 1.4, okay, and here we go. Again, just under halfway between three and four, so we'll call that 3.4. All right, and that's that bit done. Now, much the same on the next one. We're gonna have a look at this bit only because we know that We've already plotted, that's the orange graph. And so I'm actually gonna draw the graph of y equals x minus two. So we've done linear graphs before. y intercept or where it cuts the y-axis is the number on its own. And then, so there, I've done across at uh, minus two. And the rise over the run is one. So for every one I go along, I go one up. So here we go. Up we go. And I'm just making sure I get it nice and accurate. And all of these should be in a line, which they pretty much are, which is quite handy. Again, you'll be able to draw this much more accurately than me because actually you've got, you'll have graph paper, you'll have a ruler for that, and that's the one that you can use a ruler, and there. 
Right, now, I'm again gonna draw some dotty lines, and I'm again gonna draw, where is it, there we go, some, oh dear, it's just gone slightly off, some dotty lines, there we go. Now, I just need my X uh, coordinates because I've only got Xs here, and we go, what's that, about minus one, well it's a bit bigger than 1.2, I reckon that's minus 0.3, isn't it? Something like that, and Let's have a look here. Well, I've got that as 1.4, uh, sorry, 3.4 before, and it's just underneath that, so should we say 3.3 for that one? There we go. So all you're doing is you're plotting those graphs, okay, like I've done in blue and pink here, and seeing where they cross, reading off the X values. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself, but what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. So 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done. Well done. 